in a good way and a bad way. I don't know how anybody could be bored right now. Brandon in FEMA Region 3, thanks for holding. Hey, Alex, how you doing? Good, brother. Uh, I wanted to touch um, on the growing police state. By the way, I'm a Marine Corps reservist, and I actually shot video on my phone about a month ago. I was driving down 95, and I could see what was clearly about 11 or 12 Blackhawks in the air, and they actually had a few streets blocked off, and I walked up and just wanted to know what was going on, and one of the Army guys, he had a Ranger tab on his shoulder, basically told me to shut up and get back. And, I mean, the more and more I see this, it makes me sick to my stomach because it's not what I signed up for. Sure, and it's not yeah. the military itself's bad. They're being given these missions to condition the public. I never even covered Watson's article in California where they had you know, thousands of, of troops total, but hundreds in trucks practicing in plain clothes, infiltrating, taking over the town, and then leaving. They're practicing attacking American cities for America. And Alex, it's not even notice, and I can even attest to myself, when we when these drills occur, it's never about that jihadi with 50 pounds of C4 strapped to his chest. It's about that good old boy in a John Deere hat who doesn't want to turn his arms in. So, so you've been in the Marines. I've videotaped this with the Marines, but in the Marines, you have trained to take on I mean, I've been to the drills. They always wear John Deere hats and go, I love America, don't take my guns. And then the Marines practice taking them out. You're saying you've been part of that. I've, I've been part of it. I've seen it firsthand. And, I mean, to a lot of the guys in the Corps and in all branches, it's like, is this even America anymore? We're training to kill our own people if they don't do do whatever the government says. And, it's, you know, and... You've touched on it millions of times, the same in the FBI and the CIA. It's compartmentalized at the mid and highest level, especially at the Pentagon. I mean, I'm the son of a U.S. Army general, and he's even told me, you know, you either play ball or they're going to say give me resignation and have a good life, you know. Briefly, where were you specifically with these drills? Were they in real cities or, or practice cities where you were practicing taking on uh, veterans or patriots? Who were you practicing to take on and where was it? Uh, this was a few years ago. This was, uh, I'm in the, it was in Virginia. Just a little, I guess about 10 minutes outside of Richmond. Was it in a drill facility or, or in a town? Uh, it was in plain sight. Yeah, it was in a town. No, I mean, I know because I've shot or had shot for me probably, let's not exaggerate, 40 times. Video of Marines practicing to confiscate guns from... South Texas to uh, Hebron, Maryland. It's all on video. Stay there. I'm going to come back to you, Brandon. Uh, that's powerful info right there and powerful testimony. We know it's true, but just to hear it from the guys that are doing it. I mean, this is real. This is treason. Totalitarianism comes in many different flavors throughout history. It can come from the right wing, the left wing. It can come from religious cults. It can come from a foreign invading army. And in the modern 21st century, it's basically coming from political correctness, masquerading as the Renaissance, masquerading as liberalism, it seeks to shut down free speech. And the controlled globalist left has willing accomplices in the Republican Party and other conservative and libertarian organizations and groups throughout the world. The robber barons that control this planet are not free market. They are monopoly men who seek to have systems free of competition controlled by offshore combines above the law. The main mission of Infowars.com and my 20 years on air is to shatter the left-right paradigm and to get the public to become aware of what's really governing and controlling society on a mass scale. Bottom line, we have reached that legendary, colossal moment in history where the next thousand years of human development, our very destiny is being decided. That's why we're launching Operation Money Bomb 2015. 
the first money bomb I've done in three years because we only do these if they're critical to be able to build up our infrastructure. And with the money we raise from this, we will be able to stay on the satellites and get on UHF, VHF, and cable stations across North America, reaching tens of millions of more people right at the time they're receptive and looking for answers. Starting September 16th through the 17th, we're going to broadcast live from 11 a.m. on the 16th through 2 p.m. on the 17th for 27 hours with an amazing lineup of guests, investigative journalists, documentary films, and more. We are seeking to raise a million dollars so that we can reach 400 million extra people potentially in the next year. Because if you do the math, and if you look at the numbers that we're already getting from affiliates and from the internet and from YouTube and from Facebook and all the platforms, we are reaching 20 million people a week. If you put all that together over a year, that's upwards of 200 million different individuals around the world is how the algorithm metrics come out. So I simply want to double that in the next 12 months after launching this money bomb. Just the satellites, the closed captioning under federal law and other regulations will cost us right at $39,000 a month, which if you add it together is over $400,000 a year alone. When you talk about cameras, crew, studio, million dollars is only a portion of what we need to do this, but it's an important part to ensure with the collapsing economy and the hard times we're going into that we have the funds it takes to keep this beacon of truth exposing globalism and dehumanization operating. So join us this September 16th and 17th for what I believe will be the final money bomb that InfoWars ever runs as we prepare to launch to the next and final level of global awakening. Because as Mahatma Gandhi famously said, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they attack you, then you win. We are in that process of being massively attacked and in the face we're charging up, getting ready, and going in. Go to infowars.com forward slash money bomb for all the information. And in closing, I want to say this to all of you patriots out there across the globe that have spread the word about our operation and that have supported us. History is happening right now. The destiny of humanity is being decided right now. And Infowars, which you, the viewers and listeners and activists, stand at the heart of, is the engine that has made all this possible. You're not standing behind the info war. You are standing at the center of it. You are right beside us in this fight. And I guarantee you, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Sam Adams would be incredibly proud of what you've done in defense of human freedom, in defense of true liberty. So from myself, Alex Jones, and the entire InfoWars crew, we salute you. Join us this September 16th and 17th for the 27-hour Money Bomb in defense of human liberty. Spokane last year is going to be in studio with us with State Rep Matt Shea of Washington State. The Bizarro Sheriff has been up to it again. And again, we're not covering just what one sheriff's doing. This is what the federal training has done. It's why I have clips from Ohio, from Indiana, from Michigan, from Washington, and others saying we have the MRAPs, the armored vehicles for the Constitutionalist. And we have those clips coming up in the next segment. And we have the special reports. Police, armored military vehicles needed for constitutionalists with firearms. We point out they're preparing for war, and then they put out disinfo stories. Oh, Jones says martial law is going to happen by September 15th under Jade Helm, and they're going to confiscate your guns. No, I didn't. I said they're training to confiscate our guns. That's in the Army Times. It happened during Katrina. Stop acting like this isn't happening. 
remember like five, six years ago, there's no such thing as a TPP. There's no such thing as an Atlantic, transatlantic agreement between the NAU and the EU. There is no global government. There is no carbon tax. I have Al Gore in 2007 in Congress in my film Endgame looking at the camera and saying, there is no plan for a carbon tax. None of these initiatives have anything to do with it. And they're like, but you own the company that's going to have the carbon credits. And Al Gore goes, and you also believe there was no moon landing? Now, notice now, it's all admitted, all out in the open, the Pope calling for it, a bunch of countries have it, they're ramming it through here, but Al Gore will still come out and say, there is no carbon tax, there is no income tax, two plus two equals five, if you have a business, you didn't build it, Joe Biden's not going to come after any of your guns, remember those speeches, they are a pack of criminal liars, but it comes down to us, we are to blame for the fact that we are so tolerant of this. We're going to go to break and come back and go over all of this. Uh, briefly, didn't plug anything last hour. Most shows plug every segment. And the reason I say that is it's important to support InfoWarsStore.com. InfoWarsLife.com is a subdivision of that with the high-quality nutraceuticals because that's what funds about 70% of our operation. Then we've got sponsorship and prisonplanet.tv. And quite frankly, we're going to have to do some fundraising here to be able to fund the next year, especially with the economy being in trouble. Everybody sees it. Everybody feels it. I know it's hard to support us for a lot of people. Folks that have means and are upper middle class or wealthy, you're really crazy if you don't start supporting outfits that are fighting for liberty. But regardless, whether you're a working man or filthy rich, we have products everybody needs and should use, like Survival Shield Nascent Iodine X2, Game Changer, Oxy Power to flush out your upper and lower intestines, Game Changer, uh, Prostagard, the highest quality uh, formulation, lowest price out there for a high quality uh, nutraceutical that targets healthy prostate. Uh, we also have Silver Bullet uh, that I'm not going to sell out of Silver Bullet this time because it's going to be months and months till we get more. And I've calculated what it'll take to sell out at regular price over the next two months. So I'm going to sell what we've got. And then I'm going to cut off and keep enough back at the regular price so we don't sell out uh, by the middle of October. This will probably sell out by Thursday or Friday. I'm saying, and, and by sell out, the amount we have to sell discounted. 30% off one bottle or buy two, get two free. This is already the highest quality, lowest price out there. Okay. So you buy two, get two free. You're talking about enough to use currently and a long-term supply. It stores for many years. You cannot find a better deal, and your purchase supports the broadcast. Get two silver bullets, colloidal silver, 30 parts per million. Get two free or get one bottle, 30% off, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Now well into the second hour of the worldwide broadcast. We have Gerald Salente, Trends Forecaster, joining us to talk about China sliding again yet today. The Federal Reserve coming in and uh, propping up the stock market. China did that three weeks ago. It worked a little bit. Now the free falls back. We expect to see that same trend here. Uh, we wish the stock market wouldn't go down, but it's way overvalued. So we'll be breaking that down in the last 30 minutes of the broadcast today. Uh, also coming up, we're going to play clips of the latest chilling Planned Parenthood video released today. I guess the eighth video that has them joking about trying to buy 50 baby livers a week and the fact that sometimes they're getting ripped off and they're only blood clots. And they say, you know, what's happening? Are the dead babies crawling out of their crawling out of their containers? You know, where are where are the organs? and making all sorts of sickening statements. And that dovetails with footage CNS News got of Satanists in Detroit who've put up a Baphomet statue going around in support of Planned Parenthood. And just no matter where you go, Satanists just appear. I'm telling you, go out, demonstrate, announce you're doing it. Every time I've done it for 20 years, and I've only done it probably 16, 17 times, Satanists have shown up. They'll come over and say, you know, I worship Satan, we're going to kill you, or we're going to get you, or we kill babies, you're never going to stop us, and stick their tongues out. And the, and the thing is, they're so weak, you know why they worship such a pathetic creature as Satan. Whether you believe in Satan or not, 
A lot of serial killers worship the devil. So it shows the mental illness. Now, joining us till about 45 after are state rep Matt Shea, VoteShea.com is his website, and Joe Biggs. Joe Biggs last year went out to Spokane because it was national news when we played a clip of the sheriff's deputy and the SWAT team at a Walmart 